what's up good people aka winners that's what we do hey that's all we do hey 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 i'm coming to you with another video hey coming to you with another video Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I am coming to you guys with a video, as I just said, and this video is going to be about some of the, some of my favorite brushes that I use for um, my makeup looks or, you know, smoky eyes or just eyeshadow, period, right? Period with a T. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about, I know that, um, People are doing makeup looks and stuff like that with masks and how to keep their makeup on. I am not so much going to focus on um, a look with, you know, how your makeup looks when you take off your mask and not getting oil. I mean, not getting oily, but not getting makeup all over your mask, because quite frankly, I have combination skin. And by the time, no matter what I do to try to keep my makeup from not moving underneath the mask, it depends on how long you have the mask on. If you have the mask on for a few hours and you're kind of sweating under there, you're in the store, you're getting groceries or whatever, you know, and you're in there for a couple of hours or whatever the case may be. Like when you take it off, I'm sorry, the oils begin to break through and then makeup gets on my mask. That's just the real. And, um, I only got time for the real this year. <laughs> anyway, that's Anthony Brown, but I'm just gonna talk about how to accentuate your makeup when you wear a mask. Because I recently um, went to Alabama about a month ago and one, I had on a mask, right? And someone was like, oh my God, your makeup is bomb. And in my mind, girl, it's gonna do this every time I move, I'm trying to see what's going on. But anyway, in my mind, I'm like, how does like, how can you see my makeup when I have on this full fledged mask? Well, when you have on a mask, it literally accentuates your eyes, girl. And so I'm going to do an eye look that is actually gonna match the color of my jewels. And I may possibly rock my hat cause y'all know I love rocking hats these days. So I may do that. I don't know. And then too, dang, this autofocus situation is like, hey, but it's getting better. So anyway, um, I'm just going to pray for the best and we're going to move on because I want to show you guys brushes and I want to be able to do like this, like how we used to do in the, in the, you know, past YouTube days where we do like this and you guys can see the brushes that I'm using. That's the reason I want to use this camera. So the first brush I'm going to use is my Morphe E22 brush that I just showed you guys. And that's what it looks like up close. I am going to use my Morphe, girl, listen, it is definitely cracked, don't judge me, but I'm gonna use my Morphe um, with the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the, um, I mean, Morphe times Jaclyn Hill palette. This is called the um, Ring My Bell or something. No, <laughs> you can ring my bell, ring my bell. But anyway, this is called Ring the Alarm. Y'all know I'm excited when I film. Like, don't even act like it's nothing new. So I'm gonna use this color um, Mugshot. And I am going to first put this in the crease. Now, before I get started, let me tell you what I did use as well. I used this uh, concealer right here by Too Faced. It is called Born This Way. It is the multi-scoping. And when I look over here, I'm looking at my monitor. I need to do something to put it in front of me, huh? But anyway, it says you can conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. I definitely use mine for highlighting. I don't really use it for contouring, but concealing, yes. And so, that is what I'm using for that, right y'all? See why I do like the autofocus? So I'm using this and I'm using the shade Chestnut. Look at me, I'm flexing, I'm flexing, I'm flexing. Hey, look at that, you see? Ah! So anyway, what I did was I used the concealer on top of my lid to mute out the discoloration. And then um, I went on top with my Urban Decay powder. And it looks like this. It is called the, um, it's Urban Decay, The Fix, and it is 70 WI. And y'all bear with me. Like, I want you guys to honestly tell me how you feel about this whole autofocus because I've never filmed with it because I felt like it moves a lot. Like, it's too sensitive. I don't know how to fix the sensitivity. So if you do, let your girl know. All right, so I just kind of did the crease right here with the mugshot shade. So just go in the crease and blend that out. And then... I am going to use this color right here. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL color paint and it's in the shade M20. And see, this is why, this is why I wanted to use the autofocus, but I'm gonna use this right here. This is in the shade 
M20. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand because I actually use these on clients too. And plus, I, I just, I don't know, y'all know that I'm real serious about the hand. And I gotta be careful because I have on this white shirt. So y'all pray my strength. Pray my strength that like I don't mess up nothing, all right? So I'm gonna use this uh, brush. It is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. It's the JH41. And I like it because it is pointed. I like to use this so that I can have a little detail when I'm placing this. And this I'm using as a base. So you kind of want to work quickly when you're doing a base. And also, like I told you guys before, like I'm not going to go all the way over because I'm going to deepen the outer V, but I am going to go up here and make my um, lid space look bigger than what it is. So I did find a pop in blue that's in this James Charles palette, um, Morphe and James Charles. And there's a blue in here. I don't even know if they have the name on here. Oh, they do. Oh, it, it, and there it goes. Anyway, there's only one popping blue, right? There is, you have this blue right here, which is a little, um, a little more matte, a little more dull. And then you have this one that's a little more bright. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna go with the brighter one and we're gonna see how it looks. And guess what? You don't have to be married to it. If you don't like the way it looks, you can always go with the other one. And I'm thinking I'm gonna like it because I'm thinking it's gonna match the whole vibe. So let's get it on. Let's get it on. I miss you guys. Like I told you guys, I've been kind of, you know, posting like every other week, but I'm working on my schedule so that I can film a bunch of videos at one time and get them out weekly like I used to because like I miss responding to you guys. I miss putting content out. So just stay tuned. We working on it. We working on it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do what I did to that eye, to the other eye. All right, so one way that I do check out how it's going is I kind of take a picture, right? Let me take a selfie. That's what I do. And I take a picture to see how it looks. And if it looks, you know, pretty much like it's okay, I'll roll with it. Because sometimes you think that it's even and it's not. And then the brush that I had is the Stalazi um, 122. This is the one where I put the blue shadow on. It's the Stalazi 122. Now, what I want you guys to understand is you do not have to um, get the exact brushes that I have, but by all means, if you can and want to, you can totally do that. But just get something similar, okay? The whole idea is to have something, um, I like to use something fluffy. Let's try the black in this palette from the Morphe palette. There is a black that's already in there. Right there, there's a black, I'm gonna try that. I don't think I've ever used it, but we might as well try it. And so all I'm gonna do is switch to the other side and I'm gonna dab it because the thing is, you can't like, if you do too much black, it's kind of hard to like undo black. Just make your way, put a little bit at a time, right? So I just added it to that, to the end, and I'm just gonna kinda blend it like this. I'm gonna go back in with the original brush that I used, which was the um, Morphe brush, which is the mugshot color. And I am just simply gonna go around it. And we're not done. I'm gonna blend it out more. I'm gonna go into this Morphe brush and it's definitely not a sponsored Morphe video, but you like what you like. What works is what works. And just know that as long as you have colors that are similar to what I'm using, or as long as you have brushes that are similar to the brushes that I'm using, you can always use those. This is not a go buy this type video. Just, I'm, I wanna show you up close and personal so you can kind of mimic it the best way you can. So this is the Morphe M506 brush. And I love this brush because it is a small blending brush and I just love the way it does me like girl and hold on because I know I'm trying not to have my my mirror photobomb but we need her and I'm going to go into the Morphe 3502 palette and it's a color called Rich which is a right young. That is my all time favorite brown when I want to deepen up the crease. I know it doesn't look like it's that deep but that's what I use. So we're gonna go around and I love this for detail because when I'm taking pictures and I close my eyes, in that crease area is what you really will be able to see. So I'm just using this to kinda make that line not so defined. I'm going to use this color universal, which is what I use on a lot of people, including myself. This shade right here, 
This is literally the name is, and I'm hidden pan. This is my second palette and the name says it on its own. Like this is a universal shade. Now, when I apply this, I like to pat it on because I feel like when I pat it on with this brush, it gives me more pigmentation than if I swipe. I'm gonna use some lashes right here. I don't wanna drop these jokers, you know what I mean? There you go. They're 213s by Ardell, and I doubled them up, and cause I'm about that double up, right? And then I'm going to pop on some liner. I'm going to use, I'm actually gonna use my Ofra Verified Liner right here. Um, I had, I did a, a collaboration with them and it was a bundle, it was a C-Key bundle. Even though the bundle's not still available, you can still get each item individually. So I'm going to, I'm not gonna wing it out, but I am going to line my eye with that. And um, I'm gonna put on my lashes, but before I go, let's add a little more blue. And then I'll just come back and show you the final look. And you guys will get to see if I put the hat on or not, cause I don't know yet. But a lot, with all that blending, sometimes you need to kind of put on a little bit more of that blue that you were using. This is the final look, y'all. Hey, hey. And y'all, don't forget to tell me about this whole autofocus. So I kind of skipped the hat. I was like, I'm just gonna, and y'all like that gray? That's the new color I have going on. See, I did use this brush, which is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush. It's the JH43. Um, there you go. Or let's do like this. I you wait, 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 wait. Y'all, I'm so not you. There we go. I took that other blue color and I just went underneath here. I put some black liner in my waterline. The lippy that I have on is from Seeky Cosmetics, but I did use the MAC um, Chestnut Liner. And then I used my, um, my lipstick in Confidence. This is a matte liquid lipstick. I use that right here. And then I use my Millionaire Lip Gloss on top. But everything I did on the eye, I showed you guys. It just looks different. I tell you guys all the time. It totally looks different when you finally get your your whole face on, which is why I like to do it after the fact. I don't like to clean up on Al 7 while I already have foundation on and I don't like to bake under my eye while I'm putting on eyeshadow. So this is how I do it. Hey, this is how I do it. So I was literally like this under the mask. <laughs> because I'm not about to go anywhere right now, so I don't want to mess it up. But anyway, that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not clicked that subscribe, like you definitely want to do that, okay? Especially with my schedule right now. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notifications. And I don't want to say that I will see you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you, I don't want to say sooner than you think, but I will see you soon. How about that? And so I love you guys so much. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you for all the birthday wishes from you guys that sent me some birthday wishes. And um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Because I don't know when the next video is coming up. I don't even know when this is coming up. But anyway, deuces. Bye, y'all. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover.